Hello there. <laughs> Hello there, ladies and gents. Welcome to X Resort. My name is Chrissy. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, okay, just oh, I know I've said hello, but I'm going to say it in person as well. G'day, Shandri. Hello, Janice. Um, hello, Nuria. Hello, Cherry. Um, welcome, welcome. And um, all right, back to this. Uh, back to this project um, I've just you know what I've been down here for about an hour or so and I've just been continuing on and then suddenly realized I'm thinking oh my goodness it's time to start so I best start uh, okay for those who have just um, who are just discovering me um, or just stumbling because that's how it always works um, I'm doing a project here I thought seeing as it's you know Halloween month I thought what better way to do something which is um, uh, some pumpkins perhaps and uh, what we're doing now is just oh sorry the the art supplies that I'm using is pan pastels on pastel mat and the the paper that the size that I've got is 30 centimeters by 24 but we're just checking again there we go but my project is smaller than that. It's about 24, nearly 25 centimeters and about 20 centimeters. So it's not a very big project. So you would think that you would be able to get to this uh, very quickly. I mean, sorry, finishing very quickly. Uh, so the things that I'm concentrating on at the moment is the background and the background is quite blurry. Uh, as you can see I've got the I've got the reference photo up there now if you wanted to to paint along or do this project uh, this uh, this um, the line art and the um, the line art and the reference is on my um, on my patreon channel yes and yeah so let's go ahead Abigail hello hello uh, can I just tell you before we go anything I've been shopping again now it's not anything about need it's um, curiosity and you guys are going to uh, smack my wrists or or maybe hide my wallet if you can find my wallet and hide it I think that's that's the only way that you'll stop me from purchasing certain things so but I will let you know in a little bit um, so first of all I hope everyone's week has been going really well uh, mine okay not too bad it's all good well I'm gonna get into it while I'm talking um, okay and just sort of letting you know what I'm doing uh, the brushes that I'm using they're bristle brushes uh, I'm using kneaded eraser the pans that I've got are the turquoise group I often refer to turquoise I call it group because rather than say turquoise extra dark turquoise shade turquoise turquoise tint it's a lot easier to say the turquoise group uh, this is just me calling it it's not pan pastels calling it it's just me um, what else have I got? I've got the Burnt Sienna group, I've got the Yellow Hansa group, I've got the Thalo Green group, uh, Red Iron Oxide group, um, the, ooh, the Orange, uh, Orange, what else have I got? That's it. Uh, black, White um, and a few little bits and pieces. Um, Janice, you are going to smack me. Paulo, hello, hello. Curiosity killed the cat. Oh my gosh. Janice, I've had my flu and COVID booster jabs this week. Oh yeah, because you'd need to, because your winter's coming up there in the UK, isn't it? Oh wow. Uh, so I'll just keep on working. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, so, okay. Uh, <laughs> you're making me laugh is because I can't. <laughs> Janice, you make me laugh because 
You just have... And I know what you'll be saying. No! What are you doing? Yes. Yeah, okay. So... Uh, um. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> no! Yes. Well, look, I couldn't help myself, okay? But I'll show you. It's something that I've never seen before. Um, <laughs> I've never seen before. Now, why would I want something like this? Tell me, why would I want something like this? Because. Okay, there's a few things I wanted to talk about. Um, is what my latest purchase is. And uh, we were. Um, I had posted on Share Your Art with Xresart, um, some pencil storage. And uh, I wanted to talk about that. And I wanted to, um, and I know that w there's been a, a bit of a, um, a conversation with that post about keeping the tins. <sighs> For the life of me, I just cannot bring myself to bloody throw those things away. I just, I don't know what it is. Is it because they're pretty? Is it because it's a tin? I don't know what it is. It is a container. I've got a fetish for containers, by the way. I just have to say, it could be glass, could be anything, anything. So there's that. Uh, but Chrissy hasn't got many watercolors, says Jerry. <laughs> and what's wrong with watercolors, says Abigail? Well, oh, Ali, hello. You would like this um, little purchase of mine. Uh, here me please Vlepo. Oh, you're happy to see me. Thank you, Ali. Um, that is what Ali is saying in Greek. Uh, it just so happens that I can read Greek. Yes. Okay. So, um, uh, isn't it just a nice, isn't it just nice when you find that perfect size container? Oh, Shandri. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And yes. Well, you're the queen of storage. You've got the best storage ever. Um, haven't you? Yes, you have. Um, I always... Um, yours is the best storage I've ever seen in any artist. With any art or any craft person or anything. It is, honestly... Sorry. Um, yeah. Oh, yes. So, and of course, this container is probably good for lots of things. Um, I'll pull them. I'll, um, yes. Uh, yes, yeah, so... Uh, I too, the reason why I... Uh, when we're talking about storage... Uh, the reason why I talk about that is I have changed my pencil storage for such a long time. I know I chop and change all the time and I know that we do that. I think from time to time we do that. Uh, is it sometimes is it the way we change the way we work or we're always trying to find um, a solution to our um, art supplying addiction that you need to make space for things like that? There is that. I, I think that's what inspires me the most. <laughs> um, hmm. Yes, I think that is the the thing. So, so here I am, and um, I saw this. I saw this particular post where someone. It was a coloured pencil artist, and all she did was is she pulled out a. a a perspex, um, a perspex drawer, and you could see all the coloured pencils. And then, you know, it was a light bulb moment. But I keep my pastel pencils in there. I've got one set for that, and another one for um, uh, for the coloured pencils. But what I've done is, I've mixed the brands. So I've got all my yellows. You know, and I've put my, um, yeah, all my yellows and all my greens and all my blues. And I've done it that way because I thought to myself, I didn't want to, as much as I love my tins, um, I didn't want to rummage through 
uh, my tin to find that one and then I'd have to put it back in that tin and I wasn't quite good with doing that um, although I'd put it back in the tin but not in the right place so I thought you know what I need to find another solution and uh, I saw this on a post and I go aha I'm gonna do that and then I started looking for something now uh, something like that and I found it in my local um, not my local oh, yeah my local stationery store and um, the rest is history um, okay isn't yeah um, okay oh no I would still upgrade but I refuse uh, to pay like yeah like ten thousand dollars for just the containers much easier to find them when they're sorted by colors says Janice yes and this is one of the reasons I thought ah yes because I've been working like this with my pastel pencils and found that it was so much easier when I finished a project and I had say like it would be in a pile like that for example I would then just grab them more like that and just put them in their color and sort them in their color so that was uh, so much easier to do and I thought yes but then I thought to myself wouldn't it be easier if I could just see them well I'm making some room in this in the drawer that I've got them in so but yes easy access um, it's easier to store watercolor tubes as they are smaller unless it's Sennelier hmm uh, Windsor and Newton 37 mil hmm watercolor I saw Holbein do 60 mil for their watercolor quite rare wow it is interesting I haven't I don't think I've seen the 60 mil I've got the, I've got the smaller ones yes yes I've got mine like that too says Nuria yeah it's a lot easier isn't it yeah, it's a lot easier all right so yeah in a little bit I'll show you but um I hope, yeah, as I mentioned before, I hope everyone's week's going really well. Uh, weekend coming up, and for those, you know, our longs, our, our, sorry, our daylight saving has kicked in, so timing is just a little bit different at the moment until I think the rest of the world sort of set their times. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah so just trying to see where I am it's very easy with this to lose your map because there's a lot of pumpkins going on here so I just want to make sure that I'm, I'm on the right pumpkin um, yes uh, so projects I've noticed oh yes I've noticed and I think it's absolutely amazing the on share your art with X Art every month we do uh, a an inspiration or an inspiration challenge, and uh, this month has been the uh, has been uh, the Halloween month, and I have posted three wonderful images from Pixabay. One of them is what I'm doing right now. And there's another one which is there's a skull very ornate um, it you know um, it just looks quite beautiful for some reason it just does this anyway and it just just caught my attention real quick and then there's a fun little little fellow that looks like a pumpkin and he's sort of dancing taking a leap of some kind and um, what's happened is that um, quite a few have liked this this particular month actually the last two months we've been having quite a bit of participation which is really wonderful so you must be really liking these images honestly this month as well as last month right uh, this month's oh look I am just bowled over with with how people are just you know how you're doing these uh, fantastic projects um, and it does break up the monotony when you've got like a serious when you're in the middle of a serious pro, um, project so yes um, really pleased that you're doing these celebrating the festival of the tabernacle Ooh. 
Oh, is it? Oh, I must have a look at that. Oh, yes. Please tell us more, Abigail. They're all good things. Um, yeah, so everyone's been, or not everyone, I'm just saying that people are uh, liking these. So um, I'll continue to put up all of these lovely images. And they're all pretty much um, what's... I've actually... Uh, I put up different kinds of styles of images, but somehow when I'm selecting an image for the inspiration, the surreal or like the surreal like images take me there. Or sometimes it's, you know what? Sometimes it's something that um, not that moves me, but it just grabs my attention in some shape, way, or form. So um, I'm so glad that you're liking these images. Yes. Uh, okay, so on this particular, for people who are just starting to find out how this medium works, uh, well, I'm using the brushes, these bristle brushes. Uh, to be honest, I, I probably should put in a disclaimer uh, pas um, pan pastels are made for specifically one of the features is for low no to minimum dust and how they do that is they use uh, soft tool sponges such as this soft tool sponges and applicators okay so uh, which work beautifully by the way uh, which work beautifully by the way uh, but I'm using bristle brushes now I use all kinds of bristle brushes uh, or anything that's going to give me the outcome that I want and having to use these for as long as possible on my project so uh, the difference between a soft tool and a bristle brush of any kind is that probably you'd be able to cover a large area quickly. Using the bristle brush is uh, you, um, you end up painting at a slower pace, uh, does create dust. Uh, I'm not saying that it creates a lot of dust, but it does. So, I'm, so I just thought I'd mention that. And uh, using the bristle brush also, yeah, you go a bit slower. So they're the sorts of things, and that is the difference when people are asking me. Okay, it's a week long eating in a kind of hut in the garden. Only we don't have the hut. I miss home. Oh, Lovely. Thank you so much, Abigail, for sharing that. Um, Ali says, Chrissy, what would be the most annoying pest in your garden uh, the snail uh, the dandelion plant is annoying yep okay uh, it spirals out of growth in the springtime and you can still get them in the autumn not in winter though well for me it's the snail and I'll tell you why the snail because I've got um, a small garden but now and but not much uh, but now I've got my dogs and they just go for the snail and I have to take it out of their mouth and it's all gooey and it's I have to give them a bath and not even a bath can take the squishy bit out of them. So yes, that is the most annoying thing in my garden. Um, not so much plant-wise. Um, everything that I've planted is, is not annoying me yet. So all is good. Um, and um, I've got my palette here, my my working palette. I don't know my pastel palette, any part, whatever palette you want to call it. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. My g <laughs> the snails. Oh yeah, it's gross. Those dogs will eat anything. Yeah. <laughs> 
It's dreadful. Ah. Dandelion wine is delicious. Ooh, I've heard of that. I have heard of that. Um, and I know, I think in the UK they make that a lot. I've heard that. Well, maybe it's because I uh, saw a UK program and they were all, maybe it was something that I read. Dandelion. No, I think it was a, I think it was a program. Yes. That's fermented, isn't it? Yeah, it has to be. I mean, I don't know. I haven't, you know, uh, I haven't tried it, but um, it would be nice to try. Oh, yes. Uh, soon I'm going to be using, let me see, where's my little brush? I'm going to be using my little eighth of an inch uh, brush uh, to do some, not so much details, but in little areas. Oh, hi, Vivian. Hi, all hope everyone is well. Just wanted to say, oh, yes, yeah, stay safe in Victoria, New South Wales. Oh, yes, we've had lots of floods. When will it end? When will it end? That's all I want to know. I, I just want to know. Just when will it end? Our Victorian friends uh, would not be enjoying this time at the moment. Oh, we've been having floods too, so... <sighs> okay, my husband made it years ago. Oh, okay, Cherry. Oh, okay. How would you... How do you make dandelion wine? Mm. How would you make dandelion wine? That's what I want to know. Yes. So, yes. Yeah. Okay. So, projects, what's coming up? Uh, I well, what's coming up as, no, no projects, just continuing with the projects. Uh, on uh, Patreon, we have um, about three surreal projects going on. So people have got a really good choice at the moment. Uh, one is a dapple grey, uh, a dapple grey uh, surreal uh, project. Um, I might be able to show you what we've got actually some of the references maybe that might be a good idea uh, we've got a, a dapple gray of course it's surreal then we've also got um, uh, oh one of the uh, one of the inspirations from share your art with x art which is the ice cream with there are well if you look closely with that there's uh, men uh, who are using uh, who are climbing the scoops of ice cream so that's quite um clever whoever th i didn't think of that concept i wish i did um also and we're doing a uh, a portrait and we're just uh practicing our skin tones so um i might um i might uh, um yeah yeah so I might also um, show you the the reference on that one. Uh, Chrissy, where did you find the skull? Pixabay. It's on Pixabay. Uh, that's all of those images I found on Pixabay. Actually, I should uh, show you the references if I can. Um, okay, one of them. Well, we know the ice cream. There's the ice cream. That's one of the program. That's one of the projects that we're doing. Uh, what's the other one? Um, um, there's the other one. That's the dapple grey. Uh, that's another one that we're doing. Uh, this one I did 
create the concept with that one. So, but not not the um, ice cream, but the dapple grey I did. And one more. Let me see. Is it here? Yes. And there's the other one. That is the other project. So we're doing, uh, as you can see, on this side, uh, this side. Yeah, th these are the three projects that we're doing at the moment. So we're quite busy. Uh, we're quite busy on um, on uh, Patreon at the moment. Um, and the, the ice cream. Yeah, so that's something. So for people who are interested, um, yes, and the ice cream. The reason why we're doing the ice cream, which was a, which was a, um, uh, it was a inspiration. Uh, one of the patrons asked if um, we could do this one step by step. So that's why we're doing that particular project. So there's lots going on behind the scenes. Um, yeah and of course this one here so lots to do and I'm using masking film here so um, as protecting the area that I don't want to paint just yet which is good okay uh, the three projects are so oh yes Nuria because Nuri is one of our patrons and yes so yes we're very busy we're very busy all right um, um hi Nanette hello hello welcome welcome nice to see you here nice to see you here um hope all is well with you um I think the most important part with and I know it looks weird the most important part with doing a blurry background is uh, for someone like me who likes painting tightly um, I've got to refrain from doing any kind of detail so yes this is this is my um, okay this is my struggle is to make sure that oh I've got to, should, should do stuff up here is to make sure that I'm not uh, doing any you know just yeah trying not to paint any detail you have no idea how difficult it is for me um, yes extremely difficult Oh, thank you so much Janice for putting the link in that um, Janice says okay you may regret dropping in Chrissy has been shopping and she's going to show us what she got <laughs> yes Nanette yes I hope it's only available in Australia no yeah. Nope. <laughs> well, well, well. I bought whatever I bought. I bought it in Australia. Uh, I'm sure that I don't know that they ship international. So, yeah, doesn't matter. <laughs> Hi, Robin. Hello. Hello. How are you? Oh yes, look, I've got to say, hang on, the people that have done some, um, I, I have to single you out because you've done some really wonderful things. Uh, let me see, 
uh, Cherry here has done, uh, or posted anyway, the pumpkin, the fellow who's dancing, like the lovely character who's... Um, and, I th and Robin here also has done that beautifully as well. Uh, let me see. Uh, Robin has also done that beautiful skull that you were talking about, Nuria. Uh, yes, really, really nice. I can't get over how you guys have been doing these. These are just wonderful. Oh, I just love how you're doing them. Um, yeah, really, really nice. Um, uh, and I do apologize if I uh, if I've missed someone here that's been doing him I'm just trying to yeah yeah he is so cute isn't he Janice yeah I mean I want to do the skull but I mean how many projects I, I've got to finish now the projects that I'm doing here but wow Yes, yes, I have been shopping. Yeah, I'll show you towards the end. I think <laughs> you think he's doing yoga. Yeah, he does. He looks like he's doing yoga, actually. <laughs> yeah, he does. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay, orange. Um, uh, Ali says, Chrissy, the fun part is buying the art supplies. Definitely buying paint is more interesting than surfaces, though you need a surface to paint on. Absolutely. Well, you know what? I like, I like both. Uh, surfaces and paints because and it's true you've got to um, it, the surface is really really important you know otherwise the wonderful paints or the supplies that you buy aren't going to work very nicely are they so yes is the answer for me I yeah I love surfaces I love to touch it smell it Love to smell pencils, coloured pencils, new coloured pencils. Oh, gosh. Okay. Oh, we've got, oh, that's right. And another thing uh, regarding um, something that's coming up, I've got to mention. Uh, part two of um, my Bear Waterfall tutorial is coming out uh, in a few days' time. I have put in a few notices that it's coming out. So watch out for that, for those people who are following that. Now, that is... Um, Strictly tutorial that one. Uh, yes Whereas probably this one is just a little bit more of a relaxed tutorial, I think um, Not even a tutorial I suppose showing you how I'm painting the pumpkins And if you've got any questions Love for you to ask, of course. Um. Hi, Kathy, how are you going? Okay, speaking of surfaces, has anyone painted on the round wood pieces? Mm. Uh, no, I haven't. Uh, but that is a, a popular way. Uh, what would you like, what, what were you thinking of painting on there, Nanette? Is it your gouache? Um, would it be the gouache?
make sure to sand it really well and use gesso very good tip very good tip um, yeah The masters painted on wood, didn't they? Yes, they did. I'm planning to use either acrylic or acrylic gouache. Ah, interesting. Hmm. Oh, did Lisa come in? Uh, did Lisa come in? Did I miss someone? If I miss... Oh, Lisa. Oh, hi. There she is. Hi, Lisa. Hello. Welcome. Nice to see you here. Okay, so we're working through this very nicely, I think. Um, uh, yes. Yes. Um... Okay, <laughs> Lisa is in the bathroom, she'll be out in a minute. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, all right. Um, just uh, Janice's gesso for sure, a few coats. Uh, you can actually seal it with 50 50 Miss of Miss of P glue. And water. Miss, what's this? Miss of pea glue and water before gessoing too. Okay, size. Size it before gesso. There we go. With watery wood glue or proper sizing stuff. There you go. Actually, Robin's very good with these things as well. Um, wonderful, wonderful advice. Everyone's got wonderful advice here. You guys are making this complicated. <laughs> uh, well, you see, I tell you what, Nanette, see, it all depends what you're putting on there. So you've got all of these pea glue. <laughs> yes. I'm not going to even go there with that. I don't even know what that is. Um, I don't know. I bought some acrylic gouache by mistake. I, okay, I don't see the point of it. Okay, well, I tell you, Robin, we've got a few gouache artists here and they might be able to explain to you what the difference is. Um, it's sort of like in between acrylic and watercolor, if we can put it that way. Let's see, uh, like in one sentence. And depending which one you get, because there's an acrylic one, and then there's another one, and one of them reactivates and the other one doesn't. Uh, PVA glue, <laughs> damn water. <laughs> okay, that's all right. Whatever floats your boat, Janice. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. I think I'll need a small brush for this one. Okay. Uh, this brush, can I just say, I say it every week, but this brush is one of my favourite tools in my paint box. I definitely can't do without it. It is superb for all of these. Now, and I said no details, but it's only, 
I want to make some um, just some strokes here that's all it is I promise I'm not making any strokes I mean sorry I'm not doing any details here um, I love how this is looking oh thank you Kathy Oh, it does look great. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, that's nice of you guys to say that. Um, I'm trying to refrain. I know that this is going to come together in the end. I just have to stay the, uh, you know, stay on the path and it's going to... Um, the blurry background will make more sense once I do this pumpkin. So, I think it's orange here. And I've got to be really careful as well because I've got some complementary colors and if I if I blend them too much I'm going to make mud so this is something to always think about when you're doing something like this is not to create mud and I've always got my color wheel by my side um, in case I get you know I, I just you know in case I have questions um, yes yeah, so there you go and I always forget what the um, or the secondary color that's probably the see not called uh, I was wrong see sorry the secondary colors yes yeah so something like this is pretty good to have on hand um, Oh, good day, Lindy. Hello, nice to see you here. <laughs> Welcome. Uh, Janice sneezing would give you a great effect on the water. Hmm? Oh, okay. I'm considering painting the uh, the waterfall bare, but pastels make me sneeze. But it's now cool enough that I can open windows and doors. Uh, so who knows? Oh, wonderful. Oh, that would be nice. Wow. That'd be cool. Yes. The, yes, so um, interesting how, um, and again, I will talk about that. Just wanted to say, um, Sharif, hello, uh, from Queens, New York. Welcome. Nice to see you here. Uh, Okay, yes, that's right. Nanette is from Atlanta. Here we go. Um, we've got so many um, different, uh, we've got people from Europe, from the UK here. We've got um, Australia, we've got uh, the Netherlands. Let me see, uh, the Netherlands. Um, I haven't, I hope I haven't missed anyone out. Rosemary, hello. Nice to see you here. Welcome, welcome. That's right, pumpkins. Pumpkins, Rosemary. Yes. Um, I was going some. That's right. The the tutorial that um, and I did talk about this earlier in the stream. Uh, the tutorial that Janice is talking about. All the tutorial that the bear waterfall. It is real time, step by step. I will every time I pick up a color of any kind whether it be pastel pencil or pan I will tell you um, you will get uh, you will get probably what I'm thinking how I approach each particular subject so those tutorials on patreon are well worth it I feel um, and you're getting a lot of bang for your buck because um, let me see three hours a week 12 hours a week uh, sorry 12 hours a month you're getting uh, so I think it's um good value um, uh, good value and of course in different countries the I, 
you know, in different in different countries, it's like the, um, you know, the, the dollar is different. So, but um, for say two cups of coffee um, a month, uh, you're getting uh, twelve hours worth of step by step real time projects. So. So we've got a few patrons here who might be able to attest to that. I hope so. Oh, Rosemary from Tennessee. There you go. Welcome. <laughs> and Lisa from New Orleans. Oh, wow. It's coming out. Um, okay. Nuria, Spain. Yes. Um, okay. Uh, do the pans bother you? Oh, okay. All right. Sorry. That's not for me. Um, yeah. Okay, I'm actually going to use this color here. Yeah, so it's real time. And we also do a few other things other than the projects on Patreon. I'm sorry to... Um, Flog a dead, no it's not, I'm not flogging a dead horse, but I'm sorry to be talking about this too, too much, but just sort of letting you know what other things we do. Apart from the projects that we do, um, I teach you how to create concepts. Uh, so if you wanted to do something for yourself, um, you know, uh, I, use, uh, I use Affinity. It is a similar program to uh, Photoshop. Difference between Affinity and Photoshop is uh, a couple of things. Uh, one is that Affinity, it's a one-off payment. That is it. Uh, and the difference with uh, Photoshop and Affinity is, um, well, f Photoshop is probably the Rolls-Royce of the design programs, but Affinity Photo gives it a good run for its money. It, it is really good for those who just want to do some simple uh, simple tasks but you know you can do some really interesting things like even more so and with affinity uh, it's also available on um, the you can get two software uh, two kinds of software one for the iPad and uh, one for the computer I use the one for the computer but yes fantastic um, uh, Uh, let me see, let me see. Have a go. The only thing that bothers me about the pan pastels is their size. Yes, I know, because we want them smaller, don't we? I know your question, um, Abigail. You want them like maybe half the size, maybe tinier. Uh, she has tiny. Yeah. Um, well, I'm surprised that pan pastels. Yeah, oh, okay, sorry. Yeah, they take too much room. Uh, yeah, I'd love to have them a bit smaller, like half the size. Yes, there you go. <laughs> Abigail's got big hands and little table. Okay. Yes, so. I'm going to see if I can get through some of this. Okay, uh, Chrissy, great. Um, I will have a look at Affinity. I do everything on my iPad. Yeah, it's a really good program. Uh, and yes, um, uh, on the on one of my Patreon, um, on one of my. I, for the people that are just looking at the bear waterfall, uh, I talk about it, um, but I had to sort of remove the affinity tutorial part in that one. But if people are interested, um, you know, there's uh, there's lots of things that I would recommend with that program, and of course they've got things like you know books and there's online tutorials and you know there's a lot of free stuff with that. And um, I think very, I haven't, 
and there's the updates are free as well so it's just a yeah I, I can't say good enough things about it to be honest yeah Uh, there we go. Kathy, I can vouch for Affinity. It's really good. There you go. Um, yes. Yeah, we did a, a lesson, didn't we, Kathy? Um, and I think Nuria was there as well. Yeah, we had... Um, yeah, there was a lesson where... There was one particular lesson where there was an image and there were people on a, on a beach. And this was a vast landscape. And they were, they were like these little dots... And what we did was, is we removed them all as if they were not there and the surrounding areas were not affected. Do you know what I mean? It looked like, yeah, oh, it was really good. There was one particular, uh, we, there was one particular session where we were removing objects. Um, you know, like if you've got a reference and you want to, um, you know, you're not sure about you know that hand being there or I don't know a particular subject uh, you could remove it and maybe redesign it maybe put something else there yeah um, okay there we go yeah and Nuria says yes um, I'm I'm in patreon and it's very worth it there you go I'm learning a lot oh learning a lot with Chrissy and I'm also gaining a lot of confidence when it comes to painting oh that's so nice that's so nice and I'm so glad that you feel that way uh, Robin says uh, oh hang on what's the question okay Lindy says Chrissy um, yep oh it does it uh, it works on okay it works on the iPad too, of course, why not? Pardon me, I didn't realize that. There you go, thank you Robin for that. Um, I need to watch your affinity tutorial. Yes, Nanette, you would, um, you know what? It is simple, I just do, I do it very, you know, I've dumbed it down, which is, it's the only way for me to say it, I've dumbed it down, so, yeah. Oh, and there you go, Cherry also, yep. Robin says, just works different to desktop. Yes, it does. I've just bought an Apple, okay, Apple laptop because it doesn't have enough functionality for photography. Oh, yes, because our friend Robin here also, we've got a few photographers. Um, Robin was a photographer in the Australian Defence a long while ago. I'm not going to say long while ago. Uh, you know when she was when she was in the defense she was a um, photographer in the defense awesome uh, my respect to you uh, and thank you for your service Robin um, okay Abigail Rob uh, yeah yeah there you go Abigail says Photoshop on iPad has far less options than the computer drive yeah I know and my confidence has grown also since joining Chrissy. Oh, look, thank you so much, Kathy. Oh, look, you guys are so good. This is, and that's the whole point, um, pretty much on um, on Patreon with Xris Art is um, giving you the confidence, you know, and just to give you tips and tricks. And we do projects along the way, but it's, you know, then you're able to um, go off and do your thing. You know what I mean? Like you're doing your thing. Um, but we're always also learning little things here and there. So there's always something, isn't there? Always something new. Yes, there is. I'm just trying to this one is all about values I mean painting is always all, all about values but here to get these to get these um, these pumpkins right these blurry pumpkins right it's the values that are gonna help me with this so
Uh, uh, Chrissy, Lindy says, Chrissy, dumbed down works perfectly for me. I don't want to spend the learning pro. I don't want to spend time learning programs when I could be painting. Exactly. Uh, totally. Well, these ones I have. They're all simple. These all these these tutorials. They're very simple and um, learnt it in one lesson, I believe. And um, then you can go off and do your thing. Because I also often notes too. Um, sometimes I'll, depending on how hard it is or how easy it is, I'll offer like step by step notes because, you know, I don't know. It all depends how you like learning. You know what I mean? Um, <laughs> Robin says, I'm a broken down old digger now, Chrissy. <laughs> My boys, <laughs> my boys call themselves diggers as well. Um, my two boys. Uh, uh, for all of those who are not um, aware or familiar, um, oh, Robin, you're going to be able to describe it better than what I do. You'll have to describe what an old digger is. Um, pretty much, pretty much like a soldier, like the. Um, the one that does all the the hard, dirty work, a digger, a digger, or maybe, um, is it a private? You know, uh, you're gonna you're gonna be able to describe it better. But yeah, uh, Janice says the birds are vocal today. I love it. Oh yes, they are. <laughs> They're very noisy, aren't they? <laughs> Yeah, well, the sun is shining, thank goodness, and it's not raining. Um, <laughs> uh, Kathy says, yeah, I want to say, I want to use Affinity to improve photos. <clears throat> I've taken myself for painting. Yes. Um, yes, and you can do that. Uh, you can do that as well. Old digger or gold digger? No, no, no. A guy, a guy from Cuba Pedy. Cuba Pedy. Cuba Pedy is a place in Australia. Um, a miner. Well, Cuba Pedy is a place where people mine. I think it's opals. Cuba Pedy is for opal mining. But yes, it's funny how you guys are taking this literally. I think they refer to the past Australian soldiers as diggers. Yes. Um, yeah. Yeah. Well, you know what, Kathy? My boys still call themselves diggers. Or that if they're referring to a fellow um, or someone in, you know, one of their comrades, I don't know how you call them, their fellow army people, um, they go, oh, mum, there was this digger. And I went, you know, that's how they say it. Yes, it's opals. There you go. I thought so. I thought so. Yeah. It'd be strange if I didn't know my own country, uh, my own country's mines. I mean, I know the major ones, but not all of them, of course. There's mines everywhere. Coal mines, opal mines, gold mines, diamonds, you name it, gemstones. Yeah, we've got, we're very, um, we're very lucky that Australia's have got quite a few resources as far as those kinds of things. Not to mention oil or gasoline. I don't know, however you want to call it. Um, yep. Oh, look at a horseman. Uh, horseman. <laughs> Horsewoman. <laughs> oh, okay, I forgot to set my alarm, so it's a nap. No worries, all good. Well, you're here. That's good now. You're here. Yes. Yeah, Cooper PD is an opal mine. Um... Okay, here we go. Uh, 
Now I'm not doing I'm not doing any detail or anything like that now. It may look like I am, but we're getting closer to the area where there will be detail. Here it's a bit more blurry, whereas here it's sort of starting to get close to detail, but not quite. We're still in the um, more on the blurry side, but a bit on the detailed as well. Um, okay, here we go. Digger is Aussie. Aussie slang, there you go, is Aussie slang for an Australian soldier. Mainly infantry. Term still used today. There you go. See, I knew Robin would be able to describe it better than what I do. Yes, because my sons use it. My sons use that term. Only just yesterday I was talking to one of my boys and he goes, Mum, there was this digger. Yep. Yep. Oh, there's many terms. Um, I don't know what other countries call their... Okay, Chrissy. Uh, Nanette says, Chrissy, I have watched every season of Australian Opal Miners. I don't know why. It just fascinates me. Have you really? Oh, wow. Oh, then you know. It's really interesting. Well, then, seeing as you brought that up, it's interesting when they go in the mines and they, I don't know what they call it. Is it a trail? I'm not sure. There's a particular term that they use and it could be, for example, it could be a line and they call it a trail. And of course, there are different grades of opals, isn't there? You know, one that would sell more than than others. Um, yes. Wow. I'm impressed, Nanette. I'm impressed. <laughs> Um, the term came about from the trenches. There you go, World War One. There you go. Enough said, isn't it? The trenches, they dug. They were in the trenches, yes. Yes. Um, yes. Uh, Oh, hang on. I just need a value. I need a light value. But here, I think I want to go the turquoise. I've just got to be careful when I'm using uh, different colours. I've got in my mind that I'm not creating mud. So I'm very, very careful when I'm doing this. And I've got the wrong brush. This is the brush I want. Oh, here we go. Sorry. Oh, I know more than I need to know about opals now. <laughs> oh. And certain countries um, like opals more than others, you know what I mean? Um, um, Robin says, yes, hi, also an Anzac term, not sure if New Zealand soldiers use it today. Well, there you go. Uh, interesting, I, I, interesting to ask. Um, be nice to know. Um, and for those who are, if you see Anzac, that is Australia and New Zealand Army Corps. That's what Anzac means. It's um, Australia and New Zealand sisters. Yes. Uh, Jenna says, wow, uh, one of your dogs um, has a really deep bark. That would be Athena. That would be Athena. Oh, no, it's not. It's two doors down. You heard a deep bark. Oh, my gosh. Now, that wasn't a bird. <laughs> says, no, it was not a bird. Um, yes.
Yes. Yes. Yeah, one of my pups, or both of them, are going to be getting groomed soon. And the little, littlest one, little Artie, she's not going to look like a stuffed toy for much longer. Okay. Okay. Oh, yes, Robin. Yeah. Uh, you like going gold detecting? Yes, the um, it's a program. Uh, we we get it on Fox here. I've seen it on Fox. Uh, have you started your new job yet? Um, uh, in uh, at the end of October, the thirty first of October is my new job. This week, this coming week, is my last week where I'm currently employed at. I'm going to have a week off and then I'm going to start. I can't wait. Thank you for asking. I can't wait. Imagine being immersed in all of those art supplies. Oh, gosh. Uh, Abigail says... There is a garage in the US that was painting cars. After a few years, they had so many layers of paint on the floor, they made jewels out of them. Very interesting. Wow, how do you find out all of these things? How do you say? Oh, interesting. Uh, Nanette says, there's Australian gold miners too. Yes, I've watched all of that. Yes. Oh, wow. Yes, that's exactly right. <laughs> yes. Okay, Chrissy, what did I miss? Where were you... Oh, where are you going to be working? I'm, I'll tell you where I'm going to be working. I'm going to be working with Soft Pastels Australia. They offered me a job, Lindy. You met them when you came to the um, when you came to the Pastel Expo. Yes, Soft Pastels Australia offered me a job. Yes, Kathy. Oh my God, Chrissy, what have I missed out? Where is your new job? Soft Pastels Australia. They've also got, apart from Soft Pastels Australia, they've also got, um, it's a boutique art store. And um, yes, they have um, offered me a job. So I'm going to be, yes, it's a new job. Dream job for Chrissy, yes. <laughs> Um, what will you be doing? Oh, I'll tell you in a minute. Uh, I have... Okay. Um, I have this phenomenal memory for unimportant stuff, but never remember where I put my keys. <laughs> you were talking to your that particular earlier comment. Oh, I hope you would say... Oh, I hoped you would say that. That's super awesome. Okay, I'll tell you what I'll be doing. Um, there, uh, okay, the, I've been going to this place for a long time. I've been a customer. Um, I've been a customer and, um, a while back there was a soft pastel expo in Australia and I was asked by soft pastels Australia if I could, and I, I know some of you know this, uh, soft pastels Australia asked me to come and demonstrate 
Pan Pastels on behalf of Pan Pastels in the US for those who don't know. So I communicated with Bernie, uh, Bernadette uh, from pa Pan Pastels and I was in the Pan Pastel section. Uh, so, um, so what it was really, it was just sort of, I suppose I was demonstrating Pan Pastels and also talking generally about art and how things, well look, something like what we do here. Do you know what I mean? Like when we talk about art and what goes with what and, you know, because there were people um, when they were coming to purchase items, they were asking, well, can I use this with that surface or can I do this, this with that? And I suppose the people, Soft Puzzles Australia, heard me saying all of this and so they offered me a job. So what I will be doing is um, uh, um, um, you know, customer service, customer service within um, their the art shop and their shop in general because there are other things in their shop as well. Uh, yeah, um, maybe uh, communicating with art manufacturers nationally and internationally, helping with art projects. Um, all these other things as well so yes that is what I'll be doing um, awesome Chrissy, uh, Chrissy uh, will get her paycheck and have to give it right back to them for supplies she'll be buying every day yep definitely this is, um, great says Nuria yep no they will give Chrissy art supplies to try for free possibly I don't know what the go is. I'm sure I'll find out soon enough. So, but see, apart from soft pastels, they've also got um, art supplies, which many times I talk about where I get them and the um, the paper and all of that. So, um, yes. So that's where I'm going. Um, I, I've always wanted to do something like this. It's something that... Um, uh, yeah, and you know, uh, customer service, talking to customers about yeah. about art supplies, all those kinds of things. So yes. Speaking of supplies, don't you have something to show us? Yes, I do. Just let me do this stroke right here, and I will show you right now. All right. Speaking of which, okay. So let me just put this aside. So. Um, here we go. Now, <laughs> I said, well, I don't know what I said. It's what I shouldn't buy. But anyway, so here we go. We're going really well here. Um, let me just put that aside. Yes, Janice, I bought watercolour. No. Janice said, oh, sorry, Linda says, oh, you deserve this. What a great opportunity. No wonder you are excited. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they always have stuff to try. It doesn't cost as much uh, to the store. There you go. Now, this is what I purchased. Please. It's not as if I don't have enough watercolour and I've got to whisper it because, well, I don't have to whisper it, but I just feel... Anyway, okay, this is watercolour. This is a company uh, that's produced in the Ukraine. And as you can see, developed in col collaboration with professional artists. Uh, there are tubes and there are pans. This is called uh, Rosa Gallery. This is what they're called. And this is how they're packaged. And these are the colours. So this is... Um, um, more yes more oh no watercolors <laughs> that I don't have says an in it yes yeah okay so this is their packaging and um, there's sort of the, the writing is in part uh, English and part uh, in the Ukraine I warned you okay so I'll just put this aside here we go. Here we go. I'll just put it there. Okay, this is the 28 set 
Oh, hang on. There we go. Uh, this is the. T I bought these three extra ones. Um, yes, yeah, so I haven't opened them up yet. Um, Debbie, hello. Welcome. Nice of you to be here. Okay, so it's an interesting tin. Usually they're black tins, but this one is blue ish. Blue. And um, so what I might do is I might open one of these. The oh hang on, here we go. Now there's lots of colours, of course, tubes and everything. So what's really good about this is that it gives you the um, pigment information, tells you whether it's transparent or not, tells you about the light fast rating. Well, and I think these are similar to I haven't done I haven't done as much research on these but I think they're similar to core the golden watercolor they're similar to that and of course it, you know I think it's pretty cool oh lovely this is coral half pans um I don't know if they're half pans the, they're sort of like a bit smaller than the full pan, but they're like, um, uh, I think the half pan is about this big, isn't it? Yeah. They're just, so, you know, what is it? Do I? <sighs> like I need watercolor, but you know, I just, you know, I can't help myself. I can't help myself. So I'm going to try them at some point. I might try them at some point. Yeah, these are, I think... I think these are, and I've got to have a look at what um, what the base is. Oh, here we go. It says um, a development according. Okay, nope. Okay, it says organic organic gum arabic provides a uh, perfect adhesion and even color flow high quality organic and inorganic pigments guaranteed purity and transparency of each other of each colors high pigment concentration supplies the artist with a wide range of colors from airy transparent to full opaque uh, natural drying uh, providing easy di um, dilution and brushing uh, properties i've got to what I want to do is I'm going to do a lot more um, uh, research and find out what uh, if in fact I think they're similar to core and of course they're not as um, they're reasonably priced uh, the set of 28 the set of 28 I bought for 90 98 dollars Australian dollars so I don't know what it is in Europe. I suspect in Europe it would be cheaper. I suspect if you were converting, you can purchase these from uh, Soft Pastels Australia. I mean, they're not paying me to say that. They don't even know I'm even talking about it. Um, and they're not definitely not sponsoring this channel whatsoever. So it's just what I, and I can talk about it however I want. So I just thought I'd let you know. But yes, they are available. Oh, so soft. I think I have a, I want. <laughs> yes. So let's have a look at. Um, okay. Well, let's have a look at uh, what this. This is ultramarine. I like the packaging. I like the the way that they're showing this now yeah yeah it's interesting how that one yeah I think that they're going to be similar to core but don't quote me please don't quote me on this I don't know um, where I saw something somewhere yeah and they've got a nice bit of paper there so 
so until I I've got to make a um, you know I've got to do a I've got to get my book and do a um, swatch to see and of course this is 28 colors they've got a whole heap of colors I think from memory I paid four dollars ninety five for these each each one so they're really nicely priced and uh, good value just reminds me of also like white knights you know white knights which are the Russian um, watercolors okay uh, what are the extra colors uh, oh what are the extra colors did you buy I bought the mint this is the mint I bought that these are the three extras that I bought I bought coral I bought Naples Rose and I bought Mint um, and I probably need to get another tin or I might even get tubes okay I might even get the tubes and uh, fill another tin why I don't know why do I want to do this I just want <laughs> I, think, I think that's the question okay Chrissy says Janice is this a particular set portrait or botanical okay um, it doesn't say it doesn't say I um, this is the biggest qu quantity of pans I think that you can get in the set um, yeah it doesn't really say I suppose it's like the 20 basic ones you know you've got your warm yellows and cool yellows you know there's that lemon which is cool yeah so Rosa oh look I can't even get it out hang on serious oh finally um yes because I was looking this is lemon yeah yeah so anyway um yeah so I you know when I start trying them out and I'll let you know how I go but yes there's that okay Chrissy it's the classic set there you go uh, well spotted Lind yes um, Chrissy is it uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Well, mine will be delivered on Sunday. <laughs> oh, did you really order them already? Um, Abigail says, can you use your pencil tins for the glue? A magnet to the pan and that, and that's it. So easy. Wow. Glue a magnet. <gasps> exactly. Exactly. I was about to show you... Um, Oh, hang on let me see if I can okay there we go another thing that's the other purchase there you go this is the the perspex or the the acrylic drawer and this is with um, this is with my pastel pencils yes this is with my pastel pencils um, yeah so there you go that's that um okay um all right okay i'm addicted to palettes i even make my own from cigar boxes oh yes definitely you're gonna have to show us on that show us on share your art with express art um that would be good robin if you could do that well anyway um that's all for this week uh, thank you all for keeping me company and for us keeping each other company okay you'll need to do an unboxing and swatching video I'll have to do that won't I all right I shall do that then I will do that might even do a video um, while I'm while I'm filming yes I'll do that while I'm swatching and upload it as quickly as possible I think but anyway look all thank you so much uh, yes have a nice weekend 
Um, watch out for the tutorial that's coming up in the next few days and um, a whole heap going on on Patreon next week as well. Thank you all for joining in. Um, you've been fantastic and uh, take care everyone. Uh, bye for now.